Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn about index in pandas. Indexing in pandas is very important function. It helps to selecting particular rows and column of a data from a data frame. While working with large amount of data sets, it's always great to locate the data with indexes and get that data right away. Without index of data in pandas, it would be extremely difficult to analyze the data. With the help of index, we can access and manage data efficiently. Pandas index help us to customize the data. So let's understand how we can create index in pandas. Before starting pandas, let's import pandas as pd and then we will create a data frame by using this dictionary. Now convert this dictionary in data frame. Let's run this. So here our data frame is created. As you can see that the leftmost column in the data frame is auto-generated index column by pandas to optimize the data set. Now you can also get the index of data frame by simply writing here it shows that index starts from 0 and it stops at 5. Now as you can see that the auto-generated index starts from 0 but it can be manipulated by using index property. So let's try to start indexing from 1. For that we will simply write. Now we will apply a simple loop here. Length of data frame dot values will return the number of rows in current data frame. Now run this. So here index starts from 1 to 5. Now instead of auto generated index, let's set the column of data frame as an index. Here I want to create id column as index. Now run this. Here it comes id as an index column. But as you can see that we have a duplication. To solve this, let's drop the column id. Now run this. So as you can see that we have a data frame where id is set as an index. Now we will set an index by using set underscore index method. This is an inbuilt method that is used to set the list in series or data frame as an index of data frame. It sets the data frame index using existing column. It can replace the existing column or expand on it. So let's see the syntax of set index method. Here keys is a column name or list of column name. Drop is a boolean value which drops a column used for index if it is set as true. If append is true then it append the column to the existing index column. In place makes the changes in the data frame if it is true. And verify integrity checks the new index column for duplicates. Here let's create a data frame. Now we will set id column as an index by using set underscore index function. Here I have applied in place as true so that so that it makes the changes in data frame. Now run this. Here as you can see that it shows the duplication of id column because I have set the drop as false. So let's change to true. Now run this and here it comes our data frame. So in place parameter is true which means current data frame is modified and the drop parameter is set as true which keeps the id column in the list. By default the column to be indexed will drop. Now instead of one column we can set more than one column as an index. So let's try to set department and id column as an index. Now in this the drop parameter is used to drop the column and append parameter is used to append past columns to the already existing index column. So as you can see that department and id both the column are set as index. Resetting is useful to reset the index of data frame. The index of data frame can be reassigned to the row number starting from 0 using index underscore reset function. You may need to re-index in certain situations like order of the row changes after sorting or missing row numbers after deleting the row. It can also remove the current index and set it as a new column of the data frame. Now let's see the syntax of reset index. Here label can be integer string or a list to select and remove past column from index. Drop is a boolean value and if it is set as false it adds the replaced index column to the data 
in place is also a boolean value which makes changes in the original data frame itself if it sets as true now column underscore level is select in which column level to insert the levels and column underscore fill is an object to determine how the other level are named now we will try to reset the index of this data frame so for that here drop parameter is set as true and in place parameter is also set as true run this here as you can see that index is set to default and department and id has been reset to a column now we will look at the sort index function the sort index function is used to sort data frame or series by index level so let's see the syntax of sort index here access parameter can be index or column kind is nothing but the choice of sorting algorithm like quick sort merge heap sort by default it is a quick sort however it is only applied when sorting on a single column or level of data frame to sort the data frame by row label simply write df.sort underscore index and access should be 0 run this so here it sorted the row index from 0 to 4 now let's try to change it as 1 run this so as you can see that by setting access parameter as 1 it sorts the data frame by column level now to sort the data frame by descending order simply write ascending equals to false run this so here data frame is sorted in descending order by default it is in ascending order so that's all for today's video if you like this please hit the like button and leave a comment as comment are the best way to express your experience thank you for joining us